Hello Python coders. My name is Jason and I'm making this short series of videos outlining a few topics related to Qt Designer and PyQt or PySide. In yesterday's video I was showing you how to properly use the .ui files created from Qt Designer in either PyQt or PySide. In today's video, I would like to talk to you about how to properly handle or use icons inside of a application that is created with Qt Designer for designing the interface. One thing that we need to keep in mind when it comes to a Qt based application is that they are primarily designed to be cross platform. So you can code a uh, application on Windows and it should be able to be ran on a Mac or on Linux. And in order to handle the different directory structures that these different operating systems have, we've been given a fairly easy way to make sure that no matter what platform we're on or no matter what directory your application happens to get launched from, the icons should show up inside of your application. I have two icons that I put in my icon folder here, just across and a tick mark. And what I would like to do is I would like to add those to the OK button and to the Cancel button in this sample form. And how we're going to do that is actually pretty straightforward. So we're going to be using the resource system built within Qt. And in Qt Designer, this section of the display here is our resource browser. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to work with the uh, resource files that we have. Currently, we do not have a resource file for this sample application, so we're going to create one. And here we have a new resource file button. I am going to put that in my uh, Qt Demo UI folder, and I'm going to call it Main Icons. And you'll see that it should create a .qrc file for us. Okay, so now we have the resource file. Now, in order to start adding icons to that resource file, we need to create a prefix. So I'm going to hit the Add Prefix button. And uh, for this prefix, I'm going to say Button Icons. And I can add in as many prefixes as I want here to be able to separate my application icons. So I could have a prefix that says Main Icon for the main window icon. Um, I could put in for toolbar buttons. I could say for my, in this particular case, we're going to just have one for button icons. Now we need to add some icons to this path. So we use the add files. We go into our icons folder and we can select both the cross and the tick mark and hit open. And now you'll see the cross and the um, tick marker here, including the folder name. Click OK. And now they show up in the resource browser. And you'll notice that the prefix will show up right here, and that it also includes the folder name that those two icons came from. And there's my cross and my tick mark. Now how we add those to the buttons is I'm going to highlight the button, I'm going to go to my property editor and I'm going to say icon. And then I can set the icon right here. So I'm going to use this little pull down and I'm going to say choose resource. I'm going to look at my resource browser here and where it says button icons, icons. There's my cross and my tick mark. And for the OK button, we're going to put the green check mark. You'll see it shows up there. And for the cancel button, 
we'll put the cross. So I'll choose choose resource, icons, and then the red cross. There we go. Now I can save it. Okay. And that's all I should have to do within Qt Designer. If I look in my folder structure again, and I go and I look at this main icons, there's my main icons uh, QRC. If I go to PyCharm and I open that up, you'll see that it's sort of a sort of XML file like, okay, but it is a, a specific file to Qt, a resource file. And you'll see there's my prefix and there's my two icon files. All right, so built into Qt is a compiler to be able to turn this resource file into a Python file. I'm going to bring up my terminal. And as you can see, I've done this before. But I'm going to take and run the PySide 6, because I'm using PySide. So I'm going to do PySide 6 dash RCC from my UI folder, my main icons.qrc, and I'm going to output that to main icons underscore rc.py. Now, this suffix of underscore rc is fairly important, and you'll see why in a moment. So I'm going to hit enter. And what it does is it creates this Python file for us. This is a binary representation of those icon files. Again, this is generated by Qt. So what do we do? We never edit this file directly. In fact, just like the files that come from Qt Designer, there should be no reason for us to open this file up at all. I'm just opening it up here just to show you, give you a brief overview of what's in it, but it's just a binary string and that contains our icon files. Okay, so now I believe I did save this, but I'm going to make sure. So I'll save it. I'm going to go back to PyCharm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to recompile my demo form window UI. So I'll convert my UI to Python. And if I open my demo form window up again, something will have changed. And you'll see that here's our push buttons right here. Okay, there's our push button OK. And you'll see that it has created an icon for it. And to that icon, it has added this specific resource to it, which is going to be our tick mark. This beginning here of the U plus the colon, this lets me know that this is actually coming from a resource and not directly from the file system itself. Also, very significantly, if I open up the imports, you will see that automatically added for me is an import of main icons underscore RC, which is right here. So that's why that naming convention was so important. So it took the main icons QRC and I compiled that using the resource compiler to main icons underscore rc dot pi. And that's why, and the reason I did that is because this specific import is looking for this suffix. In PyCharm, I have this automatically set up uh, for me. So I can right click, go down to Qt, and I can convert resource to Py. And it will automatically take care of that for me. If you're using Visual Studio Code or PyCharm, I would highly recommend that you set those shortcuts up for yourself. All right, now if we open our demo form Python file, which was, this was the application that we built yesterday, we should be able to run this. And there's our icons inside of our buttons. Most importantly, what's going to happen here is if I package up this application 
and I go to run it on Windows or I go to run it on Mac OS, those icon files will go with because it is part of that main icons underscore RC Python file. The application that we've created here for demo purposes, if we were to package this up, this entire UI folder here should not even be necessary to go with. Okay, because we are converting the .ui file to Python, and we are also converting the uh, QRC file to Python. And that should cover it. Uh, like I said, this is very simple. However, I do see uh, a lot of misinformation out there on how to properly insert icons into your application. Uh, this is technically the way you should do it. Uh, it will ensure that you have a more cross-platform application. Even if you are not necessarily thinking about making your PyQt or PySide application cross-platform, I would still recommend doing this way, doing it this way, because then you don't have to worry about the directory structure that your application is going to be ran from. You can put them anywhere, and because of the resource system, everything is going to be there properly. All right. And in tomorrow's video, or my next video, uh, hopefully tomorrow, we are going to cover how to properly handle directory pads for things like setting files, uh, maybe some logging, when we are creating a PyQt or PySide application. Any questions, please put them in the comments. And happy coding!